Okay, Qdoba, Qdoba, Qdoba. Get out your sombreros and little, little, little baby shaker thingies. What are they, rattles? Manly rattles for this one. <clears throat> I would, if I was getting more support, I would definitely buy a sombrero and some rattles. That's probably, I am way too American to even know what the fuck authentic Mexican food is. Is this authentic Mexican food? Probably not. It seems like a fast food place to me. It seems like it's fast food. Like, you could probably have a drive-thru, but you're not doing a drive-thru because maybe you don't want to be considered fast food, but it's kind of fast food. I mean, you just go stand in line, and you, you're... And it, if, as long as there's not a long line. If there's a long line, you can wait a little bit, but they're really fast, you know? It's not really cooked to order shit. They have all the shit prepared, you know? So it's, it's kind of fast food, but it's not. It's like, well, it's kind of fast food, but it's not. It's a little bit more... So this is what I'm gonna say. I, I I know that there's a lot of different of these burrito places that are kind of similar, okay? And people are like taking territories, or they like a particular one, like it's gang wars or something. Like this is where I eat a burrito. This is where I eat this this kind of burrito. You might get the bowl, whatever. Like these similar places, people are like, hey, try Moe's. Quite try Chipotle. Try Poncheros. What, what's the other one? There's more. There's more, right? There's probably a lot more. There's probably too many. There's too many. It's like the burger places. Burger places started popping up. There's so many burger places. Count the burger places in your area. Uh, so anyways, speaking of um, places in my area. um, So the Qdoba, there's, there's a couple of Qdobas here, but I don't really have too many other options. I don't have a Chipotle by me, okay? So, I feel like I would rather go to Chipotle, okay? But they don't have them here. They have a Poncheros and Cordoba, and that's pretty much it. We don't have many of these, you know, borderline fast food burrito fucking places, which are like, you know, questionably authentic Mexican. Probably not, but I guess they are. I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Get me a fried ice cream taco then. If you're fucking real. If you're real, give me the fried ice cream taco right now. So anyways, getting down to the actual steak burrito. You know, I don't know. It seems like, you know, when when places do steak, especially like this, you know, got to question that steak because they say it's steak. But there's some technical things. Like the Taco Bell steak, I don't know if that's steak, man. The Taco John steak, like quesadilla, I got that. That doesn't really taste like real steak at all. I don't know what the fuck you're doing to that steak. I don't know. Is it, Did you, like, blend the hamburger in a particular way to make it taste like steak? I don't know what the fuck you guys did. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's just the way. Maybe it is authentic. Maybe it's just the way it tastes. But I will say that the Taco John's case steak quesadilla was way overpriced. Didn't really even have much on it. There wasn't really much cheese or steak. But we're getting Cordoba here. Cordoba is a pretty decent place to eat. But you know you're gonna you're gonna get some bang for your buck. They want, you know, it's like uh, 12, 12. Well, with a with a little tip, it's about thirteen bucks, twelve, thirteen. But I think it's about eleven bucks where I'm at for for a steak burrito, and it's a pretty big burrito. But one thing I gotta say is it really depends on what you get in a burrito because if you get the burrito specifically and you're eating in a car is the worst possible thing you could do because you kind of need a table to put you know um some you know the the wrapper under it or the, the bowl under it so it leaks down into it because sometimes i would have it leak on me and that's not really something that i would consider something that i would be critical of like you know you know bashing them with or whatever but sometimes they would you know they drain the beans or drain whatever the steak and sometimes they throw it on there and there's a little bit uh, you know they have a little bit of, they didn't drain it long enough and there's some juice in there and it kind of comes out and <laughs> when you're eating in a car because i do these car videos or whatever and i don't really have anything under it so it's kind of hard to you know i have to put a napkin literally under the burrito to stop it from leaking i think that i would probably eat a chipotle if i had one i feel like chipotle you know um <clears throat> so I, I ran into a lot of difficulties with um with me um with with me eating there because i'm doing these specific types of videos but so i got so on on this burrito i usually get the steak black beans white rice pico the little corn salsa stuff 
uh, guacamole, sour cream, um, cheese, and some lettuce. And, and the fajita peppers, too. So I get all that stuff, and it's too much. They'd rip the burrito a lot. And depending on who's doing the burrito, the burrito might come out with a little bit of stuff on the outside. And it might be wrapped in a weird way that it kind of falls apart as you're eating it. Especially in the car. That's more of eating in the car. So as far as eating in the car, it's terrible. It's not really good for eating in the car. Now, I should get like a little table that I could have in the car. I, I was thinking about doing this. Get, get a little table that I could, you know, little car table. Because I'm doing, I think it would be funny too. I should do it. But anyways, it was, it's pretty good. I really like it. Um... So at Panteros, they kind of mix all the stuff up. Uh, I'm not really trying to talk about Panteros too much. I will say that Panteros, when they mix up the burrito, right? They mix every, all the ingredients up. It's easier to eat in the car. It doesn't leak. It doesn't fall apart because it's all like sticking together with the sour cream and shit. So that is one thing that I noticed. And sometimes when you when you take a bite of a Cordoba burrito, you get maybe a mouthful of rice, you know? Like the the... When they throw the stuff on there, they might throw it in a, in a weird way to where they wrap it and you eat it from a specific angle. You're not really getting any steak in the bite. So there is that. But when you mix it all together, I don't know. I mean, it kind of makes for a different burrito. And I don't mind that. But, you know, and the tortillas, I don't know. The tortillas are all right. You know, they're pretty good. Um, I got to say, I really, did, I really do like... Um, Kudoba because they have you know fresh guacamole and stuff and that's always nice because if you ever go to a fast food place I don't even know what the fuck kind of guacamole that shit is um, But they, you know, it's all made right there. And it's grilled too, you know, so it's nice. It's nice And I think it's you know, you, you pay a little bit more, but it's worth it I, I mean in my opinion, I think it's worth it But I got I got nachos one time right and I got rice on the nachos and that did not make sense I gotta admit I don't know. Getting rice on them. You can, but rice on nachos? Rice is pretty cheap, too. I mean, do you do really want them to throw on a bunch of rice? Do you really like that rice aroni? So anyways, yeah, the steak's pretty good. I like it. I enjoyed it. It's not always pleasant to eat in the car, but you know what? This is, this is a pretty good experience. I'm going to give this an 8 of 10. I like, I like the pico... And that corn salsa, it's pretty good. The corn salsa, I don't know what the fuck it is. It has a little sweetness to it. It really it really sets it off. And, and you, you know, you throw in that guacamole. Mm. But, you know, you ha and sometimes I was eating the burritos all the time. So, for me personally, I, I was, like, having to hold off, like, the sour cream and cheese because... Oh, and then they had the queso, too. I'm glad I didn't end the video because the queso is good. But it's kind of hard to taste on the burrito when you have all that stuff on there. It's like, I, I don't even notice it's on there, really. But if you get some chips and stuff, I will say that the chips and queso is kind of expensive. They don't even make, the chips are like pre-made and shit, so I don't know. I don't know. And then, then the, the, the tortillas aren't really, you know, they're just pre-packaged and stuff too. So that's another thing. I think they would be better if they were fresh. I don't know. You know, if you could say the, the, the tortillas at Poncheros are better, you know, like, I wish I had a Chipotle here. I might have to travel. I might have to travel to do some, to, to do some stuff because of where I live. You know, I want to try Chick-fil-A and fucking Chipotle, you know, and that might sound pretty lame. There's a lot of other foods in cities, like a lot of food trucks and stuff that you could probably try that are a million times better or whatever. So anyways, that was my Qdoba take. I really do do like it, but I would really like to try Chipotle. So yearn for me and feel my pain. Please, 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 please just feel my pain. You feel me? You feel me? Touch the screen. Touch the screen on my hand. You feel me? <laughs> this man, it's like I'm in a prison cell where they don't serve Chipotle. He's never held Chipotle. I'm with you, babe. I'm with you, babe. You'll get it one day. You'll get that Chipotle one day. Just hang in there. <laughs> I feel like I would be in the group that would try Chipotle. They are like high school cliques, I feel like. Guy said try Moe's. Moe's? How many of these places call it Luke? Lukey's. Lukey's. Luke's. Luke's burrito. That's too American of a name. Sombrero burritos. Come rattle up some business. Okay, I'm out of here.